got a 2016 Equinox 124 on the clock. We've got a new air, mass airflow sensor. I believe that's the second one from AC Delco. We have new front and rear O2 sensors. Also a fuel pressure rail sensor on here. I don't know where that bad boy is. I have to look into that. But we got rich codes. This thing is set now T0172 all the time. And it's running very rich. So I've seen high pressure fuel pumps leak before and fill up the crankcase with fuel. I checked the oil level on this vehicle. It was good. Also, the condition of the oil was fine. There was absolutely no fuel in the oil. Also, I looked at the fuel injector rail pressure. Key on engine off. We want to make sure that it's not dropping. And this was holding steady. I'll show you guys. First, I'm going to go to the engine just so you can see it's running rich. I was perusing around. I was thinking this might be a little on the high side, but we're around 1,000 RPM, 900 or so RPM, 3 grams per second. It's a 2.4 liter. That should be close enough. Um, you see our O2s both kind of sitting a little on the high side all the time. And look at our fuel trim. Holy smokes. That's bad. Let's bring up the RPM to 2,000. And hold it there and see what happens. Nothing changes. Uh, if you look at the flow chart for this, they do say disconnect a mass airflow sensor and see if anything changes. I had a duct worked off of it and all that. But uh, when this thing gets hot, we get something I used to have on my old 1980 Chevy Malibu. Um... We get a little bit of run on here. Check this off out. I'm going to turn it off. Hopefully you can hear. It was sputtering. It keeps on running. Now I'm trying to think what's going to cause that. Uh, fuel in the cylinder, of course. It's getting. It's got to have gas or fuel to combust. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try and get around to... I turn this thing off, it'll keep on running. So we know fuel's getting into the combustion chamber and being ignited. In a lot of direct injected vehicles, we do have hot spots, carbon spots build up on in the combustion chamber. So if we just add fuel to it, it will ignite. And that's what we had going on here. Through a little bit of persistence, about half an hour of time, I did find the problem to this vehicle. I knew what was going on. I'm going to try and document this. This is good stuff. I mean, this is stuff that will help somebody else. You know what I mean? Go ahead and uh, turn it off. You saw our extended uh, dieseling there. Okay, go ahead and start it up again. And let it run for a second. Kind of get cleared out. Okay, go ahead and turn it off. So we apparently have fuel that is leaking from the high pressure pump getting atomized or vaporized into the crankcase which is getting sucked into the intake by the PCV system. That's why taking the oil cap off makes this thing not diesel. We installed a high pressure pump and our fuel trims were right back to normal. We can add our long term to our short term fuel trim and we're very close to zero. Now I searched Identifix and I've been using Identifix for well over 15 years, great resource in my opinion, but I did not find a TSB for this vehicle. I got the chance to go to Kansas City Vision and part of the great thing about going to great training is the networking you do with all kinds of other people. I got this shirt from my friend Edward from the United Kingdom, thanks Edward, but also talking to other people after classes. Other guys were saying, oh there's a TSB on that, I'm like no there isn't, and they're like yes there is, and you know what, they're right. We look on all data and we do have a TSB specifically stating the problem I was having. Just think about it like this, guys. You have 11, 14 millimeter sockets in your tool drawer, right? The reason is, is different tools do different things better than others. So every once in a while, you're going to find something on one uh, service information resource that's not listed on, a, on the other. And this is a prime example of that. Be sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell. Guys, I'm doing some training coming up online uh, there's going to be some free webinars but also some paid ones if you're interested in some good tra great training let me know